Hello all, Project Wargaming back with a new video and a new project. The new project will be uh, train boards for Ber Battle of Berlin, um, six millimeter. So I'm going to do the exact same uh, kind of layout as far as uh, size goes that I did with the D-Day board. So three foot by four foot, two of them side by side. I've done a lot of research um, and looked at different aspects of um, Battle of Berlin that I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that at least one of the boards had the uh, Reichstag, and then of course the uh, Brandenburg Gate is right beside it. So kind of having that aspect. But the other thing that really fascinated me about Battle of Berlin was the zoo flak tower and then the zoo itself that it sat in. Just a really cool uh, part of the battle that uh, a lot of people don't really know about. And then this whole section kind of in between here is just a park. Um, so you got the key tea garden and Berlin. And it, so it's just, um, it's just a really interesting aspect of a battle that we kind of overlook, I guess. So I'm doing this because, uh, in April, I will be heading up to a little wars in Chicago for the miniature convention up there. That happens to coincide with, um, uh, the 75th anniversary of, uh, Battle of Berlin. So I thought that would be cool to do. Um, I've always kind of wanted to do a city terrain board. So this will be a city terrain, but with a big park in the middle. So um, kind of cool. Then you can see I've kind of uh, blown up the map and gotten down to exactly more what I'm going to try to cover. And so then I have the layouts of the things. These little black lines in here are actually water. So it being a park and right beside the river Spree, it had a lot of uh, canals and different uh, things that uh, they had. So that'll be uh, kind of interesting to model. Uh, and then you have these huge uh, roads that travel in between and then the various uh, buildings. So Reichstag, uh, it's some kind of monument out in front here, or this is the Reichstag, the monument and then Brandenburg Gate. And then down in here is the zoo tower. Uh, I think there's a control tower for the zoo over in here too, but I don't think that I will include that on the map. So a lot of this will be uh, kind of open in the park with a lot of the big roads. So looking at um, just trying to get some insp inspiration for some of this stuff, just looking at aerial photos of all the various things. Some are better than others. This gives you an idea of the zoo. Black Tower, uh, so it sits in the middle of the zoo. And then this uh, here gives you an idea of kind of how it sat. I think it actually sits this way. So this will be off map, um, so we won't see it. Cool shot of that big long road right down the center. Um, that back there is the Reichstag, Brandenburg Gates, Tower, Victory Column of some kind, I think. And then um, I think this might be a church. Maybe this is the Wilhelm Church. I'm not for sure. Um, and then you can see some of the water things and in then in the river up here. So um, pretty cool little little area. Of course, the famous picture of the uh, Soviets waving their flag over the Reichstag. Just the Reichstag itself being torn up. Um, I'm actually purchasing the model of the Reichstag from... Uh, Gamecraft miniatures, I think, now down in Tennessee. Um, so I'm going to use that. Uh, but I have, let's see if I can get this out, this model, 3D model of the uh, Flak Tower that I just uh, finished printing off. And then I also have uh, purchased a model of the Moki Bridge. Um, so this is my first one. It's It's all screwed up. So a failed print. But it does give you an idea of scale as far as uh, putting a model going across it. Um, gives me an idea of scale here. So when I get the other uh, buildings, then I'll be able to get a better picture of how the scale overall is going to look. There's other aspects that are going to be kind of cool to model. So there was an underground in this area. Um, and I think this might be an uh, SU torned upside down inside a... Um, thing maybe 34 um, I'm not very good with Germans or uh, Russian stuff Brandenburg gates destroyed 
tanks and trucks and stuff out front. This is actually a building in the zoo itself. So that'll be fun to model. I don't think anybody else has modeled this. Um, so I might model this 3D and then put it up on my Thingiverse page for everybody. Um, just more pictures of the uh, Reichstag. Colored picture. I'm sure this is staged. Uh, gives you an idea of the water out front of the Reichstag. And that circle that, that goes there. SU. A good picture of that uh, victory column in the center there. And then this is... Uh, you can see Mulkey Bridge here, which is the one that I have. And then you have to see the Reichstag. And then these were, I think this was like, uh, I, maybe this was Himmler's house or something. There's an opera house over in here. So like a lot of these, there was a lot of fighting to get across this bridge and get a foothold. The scenario will probably begin with the Russians already having a foothold across the, the water. And then they'll try to capture the Reichstag. So uh, again, eight player game, four on each side. Uh, the other interesting thing that'll be fun to model for this is the troops themselves. So Volkssturm, just a uh, regular old German businessman uh, taking up arms as the Russians are coming in. So trying to model that, there's nobody, as far as I can tell, that makes six millimeter partisans, which is pretty disappointing. Um, but I think I can do kind of a mix of troops to get the look that I'm I'm going for. And then this, uh, since it's in April, it's still very, fairly chilly during the battle. So there's lots of Russians still wearing some of their winter stuff, at least their padded jackets and, and things like that. So um, gonna be cool to, to work on. And it's been really fun to think about. So I'm um, getting all the, uh, the main buildings together and then that'll give me an idea of how uh, everything's gonna fit together. Scale's probably going to be about 50, 50 yards per inch, somewhere in there. Um, and then I have been looking at some other things. So this is an ASL module that a buddy of mine uh, isn't using. So I've been looking at it. That's the Reichstag right there. And then it gives you an idea of the, you know the craters and everything else kind of up front there. So... Um, Lots of uh, good resources just to kind of think through this. Most of it centers on the Reichstag. So a lot of the other research I had to do kind of on the zoo itself and the zoo flak tower um, and, and go from there. The zoo flak tower never surrendered. Uh, it kept kept going. It was like one of the last things to actually uh, finally surrender at the end of the war. Uh, the 88s or the, uh, the big guns that were on top of this, I think were uh, 128s. Uh, they were actually providing artillery fire uh, to support um, the Germans in the Reichstag. So um, I just thought it would be a great kind of idea to, to put these two together and play on it. So anyways, that's the new project. Going to be working on that um, and probably start working on it pretty fast and furious here in a bit. Um, and I will keep you posted as I do that project. We'll talk to you later.